time defending NFC South champions. That is how the Carolina Panthers entered the 2015 season. <laughs> Yet, they were largely ignored, with some national writers predicting a last place finish. Despite the prognostications of doom, Head coach Ron Rivera saw things a bit differently. We felt real good about the team. I mean, the defense was playing very, very well. We had gotten Teddy Ginn back with that tremendous speed, and we liked who Philly Brown was and Jericho Cotri, but we even felt great about our quarterback. The quarterback was Cam Newton, and in the opener, he proved the offense was in capable hands. End zone, it is caught for a touchdown, Jericho Cotri. The defense appeared to be just fine as well. Norman may score 20 down the left sideline, 15 10. It is a touchdown. Josh Norman took it to the house. A warrior returned to his roots as Charlotte native Steph Curry sounded the battle cry in the home opener. Carolina's man of steel answered the call with a pair of touchdown passes. Lost the pass, end zone, Ted Ginn's open. While leaping the tall Texans in a single bound. Short drop hits the quarterback draw. Oh, oh. Silver Shaw for the touchdown. He really was Superman on that play. Not a stick it, but I think I still got a good high, high rating by the judge. No matter how long it take, we're gonna defend our dirt. We're gonna defend West R. It's a division game. We understand they count twice. Watch us work. A Super Bowl journey is hard work especially when all-pro linebacker Luke Keekley is sidelined for three games. Linebacker Thomas Davis stepped up in Keekley's absence to set the tone. Hit head on by Thomas Davis. Great hit, old man. I didn't know he still had that. I like it. Together with linebackers Shaq Thompson and A.J. Klein, the defense remained dominant against the rival Saints. Ball comes out of the back end, and the Panthers have it. Roman Harper, the longtime Saint with the recovery. Newton accounted for three touchdowns, but the outcome would rest in the hands of Josh Norman. And it's jumped up in At 3-0, the Panthers did have their admirers, but remained relatively unnoticed heading into Tampa. He fumbled the ball and is picked up by Dixon, and Ed Dixon is going to score a touchdown. With the NFC champs looming, the lucky Panthers would have their shot to debunk the doubters. The origin of Keep Pounding came from one of the greatest pregame speeches ever given, and that was Sam Mills. And he talked about no matter how hard things are, no matter how tough things are, no matter how bad things become, you've just got to keep pounding. We now have the entire speech written out so the players can read it. It's kind of been that mantra that we've had, but this year even more so, it really came to light, was when we were playing Seattle and we were down. Panthers trying to crawl back into this game. Down 13 points. I was on the headset. I said, hey, we don't have to score all the points now. We just got to keep pounding one at a time. Keep pounding, man. Keep pounding away. Let's go. 20 to 7, Seahawks. 
Newton gives to Stewart. Stewart left tackle, and he scores a touchdown. And it kind of caught on the sidelines, and you could hear the guys telling each other to keep pounding, keep pounding. Keep pounding on me. Keep pounding. Down three with two minutes to go, the Panthers came face to face with their mantra. of the Carolina Panthers. Facing a legion of Seattle defenders, Cam Newton lowered the boom. He stopped throwing the changeup. He's going with the fastball now. He is burning these balls in there. Playoff focus here. He got him right now. Chance to break Seattle hearts. Cam Newton throws the pass. Holds it in time. Taking road win for the Carolina Panthers. That's how you do it. We win the game. We want to lock them. Everybody's fired up. We're talking about keep pounding. It is about keep pounding. Keep pounding. Keep pounding. Keep pounding. And this bit was it for me on Friday. Where's Sammy Mills? So I gave the game ball to Sammy Mills the third, his son, and said, "Look, your father was here with us, and I want you to have this." Good job, buddy. Keep pounding on three. One, two, three. Keep pounding. Panthers made believers of a primetime national audience by pounding the Eagles on Sunday Night Football. Tolbert's open, right flat, makes the catch, gets hit, keeps his balance, fighting at the three, the two, the one, right pylon, did he get in yet? Touchdown! Carolina's never been 6-0. Well, get used to it. Carolina then pounded its way through the defending AFC South champion Colts. Jonathan Stewart gets in, fights for more yardage, touchdown! The game slogged into overtime, where Luke Keekley's play on a tip paid off to give kicker Graham Gano a chance to hit the jackpot. From 52, kick is on the way. It's got the distance, and he made it! The Panthers win in overtime! We got a big game today. Every time we take this field, but we go out and we do it in a dominant fashion. Waiting next were defending NFC North Division champions and Super Bowl favorites, the Green Bay Packers. Newton to throw, fastball, end zone, touchdown, Greg Olson. Whoa! Young receivers Devin Funchess and Corey Brown each scored to build the Carolina lead. A huge catch, Philly. Good job. They just keep fighting, keep pounding. Keep pounding on it. Don't stop. Keep pounding. Let's go. Late in the game, however, the perfect season remained in jeopardy. Here it comes. Rodgers to throw. Looking in trouble. Hit. Lobs a pass. Intercepted. At the four yard line. The pass marks near side. Thomas Davis jumped up and picked it off. That's going to end the football game. Carolina goes to 8 0. What a day. What a win. Yeah, all right. You ready for the game? Are you ready for the game? I'm ready, and I'm ready for you guys to win. And I'm ready to see you guys go to the Super Bowl okay. this year. I see you driving, man. What's up? How you doing? Good. You feeling all right? Mm -hmm. Ready for the game? Mm -hmm. You going to give me a chest bump? There you go, man. Quarterback Cam Newton has always been a kid at heart. Mr. Fisher, how old are you? What, you about 13 out here? Oh, Come on, you got the baby face, man. Yeah, it'll, it'll be good. What? It'll be good. It'll be good. It'll be good. How old you are? How old are you? 36. 36? Yeah. Man, boy. Going on 12. Newton is all grown up. And the NFL's most valuable player. Always quick on his feet, Cam ran for over 600 yards and 10 touchdowns. Another MVP performance so far by Newton. He's been spot on. His rise to the top, however, came from inside the pocket, where he threw for a career-high 35 touchdowns. Oh, wow! Oh, wow! Newton became the first quarterback in NFL history to rush for at least 10 touchdowns and pass for at least 30 touchdowns in a single season. Amazing. That is an amazing stat.
More importantly, his leadership became paramount as the Panthers kept pounding towards a perfect season. This team is firmly Cam Newton's, and the way that he is conducting himself, then you don't know you have to think about football. Let's set out for each other, man. Here we go, make plays on three. One, two, three. What do you Newton's pinnacle performance came against the Redskins. Makes a handoff, sprints right, throws it right flat, Stewart to the one, to the right high line. Got a touchdown. And a fake to the tailback. Newton rolled out to throw it to the right flat. Fifth touchdown pass by Cam Newton ties a Panther record. I'm happy to be a part of that. We're taking a team photo at the two-minute mark. Dab on the right quick. Oh, dab. Ah. <laughs> How you been following me all day on day, man? It's all right. I gave you what you wanted to see. Keep pounding. Either means something or it's just a damn slogan on your jersey. Yeah. Make it mean something. At 10-0, Newton and the Panthers came to Dallas, with many predicting a letdown against America's team. Way to pound them off the ball, man. Instead, America watched a Panther feast. NFC interception leader Kurt Coleman returned a pick for a score. Luke Keekley also gobbled up a pick six in an easy Carolina win. So the Panthers get a first ever Thanksgiving Day game and make the most of it. We got a lot of stuff still ahead of us. 53 men together. Team on three. One, two, three, Team. Team. In week 13, it was the rival Saints' turn to take their shot at ending Panther perfection. Trailing by four in the fourth quarter, Carolina looked to its MVP to conquer New Orleans. It is a Panther win. Carolina goes to 12 and 0. Lucky 13 came easy. The defensive line of Mario Addison, Coney Ely, Star Lotulele, Charles Johnson, and team sack leader Kaywan Short completely overwhelmed Atlanta quarterback Matt Ryan. Ted Ginn Jr. showed what a valuable asset he was, scoring two of his team-leading 10 touchdowns in the route. Today, we're gonna make history. 14-0, there ain't nothing done here. When you are undefeated, no game is a gimme, and sometimes not even a 28-point lead is safe. And the Giants have come all the way back to tie the game up at 35. The outcome would rest on the shoulders of Cam Newton and the leg of Graham Gano. Slides down to the 24-yard line. For 43 yards for the win. Snap. Five. The kick is up, and it's good. The Carolina Panthers have gone to 14 and up in the most dramatic fashion you can imagine. You are human, and that's what that proves right there. The key is to be focused throughout the game for 60 full minutes, and you give yourselves a chance to win a championship. For 14 games, the Panthers remained perfect, but the undefeated season slipped through their grasp in Atlanta. The dream of the perfect season will end here at the Georgia Bay. Even without perfection, the 2015 regular season was record-breaking. Head coach Ron Rivera was named NFL Coach of the Year for the second time in three years. NFL MVP and Offensive Player of the Year Cam Newton headlined a team record 10 Pro Bowlers. The distinguished list included veteran center Ryan Khalil and second-year guard Trey Turner. Tight end Greg Olson finished with 1,000 yards receiving for the second consecutive year. Running back Jonathan Stewart earned his first Pro Bowl berth, and together with fullback Mike Tolbert, led the NFL's second best rushing attack. Badass D on three. One, two, three. Badass D. On defense, team captain Thomas Davis garnered his first Pro Bowl selection, while fellow linebacker Luke Keekley led the team in tackles for the fourth consecutive year. Defensive tackle Kaywan Short 
led the team with 11 sacks. And cornerback Josh Norman returned two interceptions for touchdowns. In the playoffs, focus turned to a bigger prize. Seize the moment, we're the big dogs now, let it be known! Jonathan Stewart up inside. Nice move, 30, 35, it's over, 40, 45, 50 across midfield. 40, 35, 30, 25. Stewart finds the seam and splits it. A 59-yard run. The offensive line of Khalil, Turner, Mike Remmers, Andrew Norwell, and Michael Orr put the hammer down on the Seahawks. The defense was just as physical. Four man pressure, and Wilson in trouble, flicks it out of the backfield, picked off Pigley, tangling right, 10, 5, touchdown! Oh, the ball crazy in the hill! The pressure on the quarterback! Stolen by KK Short! Wilson, he passes on Russell Wilson, Russell Wilson throws the Alibi, play, and who's the recipient? My man, Luke Kigley! There was nowhere to hide for Russell Wilson from constant pressure from Juan Edwards, Charles Johnson, and midseason signee Jared Allen. Oh. Tight end Greg Olson continued to torment the Seattle secondary, just like he did earlier in the season. Panthers had to keep pounding as the Seahawks mounted a late rally. He's in end zone, and he's caught. Curse for a touchdown right over the leaping Norman. Not here to win this quarter. With the jury still out on the outcome, Carolina needed a strong closing statement. Pass the ball once, backs up, keeps his balance, retreats again, twists it down. Josh Norman shot through. The Carolina Panthers survive a furious Seahawk rally to hang on 31 to 24. Keep your focus, make sure you got your personality, guys. I love that personality, but keep it in control. One, two, three, three. Welcome to the most important game in the history of Bank of America Stadium. Welcome to the NFC Championship game. We made the play to put us in this position. It's not them, it's us. And nothing else matters but us. Seize the moment. In the NFC Championship, the Panthers ambushed the Cardinals from the start. Newton fakes right, now hands to Ginn on the reverse. 20, 15, to the 10, coming back toward the middle of the field, has got potential. Five, touchdown! Fires over the middle, caught Billy Brown, 40 yard line, four away, 50, four race, he may score. yards away. The defense quickly got after Arizona quarterback Carson Palmer. When it appeared the Cardinals might make it a game, Kurt Coleman turned them away with one of his two interceptions. Hey, good job. We're playing great. We just got to keep doing our job. We'll be great. On a team full of heroes, it was two superheroes that sealed up the NFC Championship. To the five, leap from the end zone, touchdown! Oh, he knew he was going to do a Panthers. He knew he was going to do a Superman. Cam Newton, the legend grows. Let's go, let's go, let's go. And then the interception, picked off 10, five right side, and that's Luke Kiki. <laughs> Seven turnovers now. Yeah, you're pretty cool. You're pretty good at what you do. The Carolina Panthers, champions of the NFC. The team that many had counted out before the season started now stood atop the NFC. The 53 men that kept pounding all season now had a spot in Super Bowl 50. 
don't ever forget this. You're NFC champ. Never take it away. Never take it away. One, two, three, team! This has been a fairy tale season all year long. This team has demonstrated toughness, unity, and an intoxicating joy. Hey, we used to dream about these moments, huh? Of us catching the touchdown, of us throwing the touchdown, of us making plays in the biggest game in all the sport. What is it? <laughs> Super Bowl 50 was a frenzied fight. The Panthers battled like champions. Takes the snap, gives to Stewart. He leaps and scores. Touchdown! But victory proved to be elusive. Super Bowl 50 goes to the Denver Broncos. While disappointment ran deep, Carolina was not defeated. They finished with an NFL best 17 wins. They fielded 10 Pro Bowlers, the NFL Coach of the Year, and the NFL MVP. Every time the Panthers fell, they got up. When down, they dug deep. But most of all, they kept pounding. Hey, great year. Yes, sir. You got a great, you got a great, That's you got a great career ahead of you, man. So, yes, sir. Appreciate I'll be pulling for you, man. Yes, sir. Keep it going, all right? Tell everybody else there. Keep it going. I will.